What's up? How are you guys? Another week down here at Frankie's Shoe Range Meet. As usual, got a few new things to show you guys. And if you want to tune in for the weekly chargebacks and complaining and scam stuff, you guys can uh, can skip ahead to that in the scam and review section because we're always dealing with the nonsense. But uh, I do like mentioning that at the beginning because you guys do continue to uh, support us and, and leave the positive reviews and kind of uh, push back against these you know, wh whoever they're hired by, whatever groups they're associated with, I can't explain that further, but the point is, uh, these people have been relentless, it's happening every week, I'm losing thousands of dollars, but you guys continue to support us, we get into a position where I have enough money to pay homeless people to shit on these people's doorsteps every day, which I will actually do at some point, but until then, I appreciate the support. So let me show you guys what's going on in here today. So we're restocked on everything on the foods and we have a few new things. I was trying to show you guys this last week, but it was too noisy in here. So the artisanal malt vinegar we usually have, the strawberry vinegar, the cider vinegar, those are new. Uh, we got the 25 year aged balsamic di Modena. Uh, you guys already bought two of these. We might actually be sold out of this, but we can always just get some more. I didn't want to open it up and show you guys the inside. So you get this nice little box, and then the bottle of balsamic. Oh, they didn't give me a, I guess it comes with an extra cork now. I don't remember that last time I was using it, but this is like a special product. It's very, very expensive, great for a gift, but you know, it's still not too crazy to use it a little bit on your steak every day. And then we got two new jam flavors. So we got a wild mulberry jam, and we have an apricot jam. Uh, before we had the the fig jam This is just some stuff we got like organic juices to make water kefir with and just some organic applesauce to use in our bar recipes So it's, that's not actually for sale What is for sale that's new is someone someone asked for cheese crisps. We got these wisps parmesan cheese wisps uh, the only ingredient in these is just parmesan cheese so Some of you guys wanted this we just have it on the foods website now and we got the jumbo Jumbo coconut amino bottles now cheaper uh, per for the volume per ounce. We have everything in the stock. We got the macadamia nuts. You guys have been buying a lot of. We got all the chocolate in stock. Just all high quality organic stuff that I include in my diet every day. For the foods on the bars end of things, uh, we did restock the honey butter rice crispy treats. We got some more plain pemmican, but everything for the most part is in stock. Maybe a little low on some of the Tatomi's cookies, but but those aren't that popular. Uh, we're working on getting some jerky back. Right now we just have some biltong. And guys, this applies to both the meat and the foods website. The eggs have to be ordered separately. The, the pricing for the product is what we can afford to do if it's ordered on its own. If you guys are trying to buy like biltong or sauerkraut with the eggs on the foods website, you're only gonna get one thing and the rest is gonna be refunded because you have to place it separately. Otherwise, I would have to price things completely different. So, unfortunately, the eggs cannot be shipped with other products. Over here on the naturals, something that made me laugh that I thought was funny, I was looking through the distributor's product uh, list and they had natural lube, which I thought was just so funny. I, I just bought it. Someone actually bought it already. Someone bought one. Uh, someone misbehaving. I just thought it was really funny that, that they make organic lube like it's completely ridiculous But okay, and then the, the most recent new product on the naturals is the the cavity cure concentrate Might do a longer video on this. We did a few shorts, but we have pretty much everything in stock all the glandulars running a little low on like the male virility and stuff, but uh, the, Over the past few months the newer products are multivitamin multimineral magnesium complex and zinc complex and we might be getting uh, some new stuff, maybe a probiotic or something in, not sure yet. Oh, more importantly, we finally restocked the t-shirts and underwear on uh, on the Wi-Fi shielding website, so I just gotta uh, get these out and organize them right here. Uh, I will say, uh, if you guys order like weird combinations, I can't, I can't do it, because you guys are throwing off the inventory, like people are ordering like three extra, extra large shorts without ordering the t-shirt. So if you guys are ordering that stuff on Wi-Fi Shielding, make sure to order a set. Like if you want a, a small t-shirt, buy the small underwear too. If you want an XL t-shirt, buy the XL underwear. If you have like this weird Johnny Bravo physique, send us a picture so we can make fun of you and I'll make an exception and you can buy it. But um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Like sometimes the people are only ordering like 
five medium shorts like what we're you're not wearing the shirt like I don't understand that but I can't like from a business perspective I can't do that because then I gotta tell the tailor to make it just keeps throwing the inventory off every time and I gotta go back to the tailor like 10 times to tell them to make more of other stuff so that's what's going on on the not non meat businesses uh, we'll have the hazelnut walnut rice krispies back in stock as well but you yeah, know we have everything for the most part so got it nice and clean and organized in here we re rearranged the tables a little bit here in the fridge deja vu guys all the fresh dairy in from the farm ready to ship out uh, we finally restocked some butter uh, we ran out of butter last week for the first time in god knows how long um, so i'm excited we got that back in uh, we also restocked some sauerkraut this is the most popular fermented vegetable we have so if you guys have been waiting for the sauerkraut uh, we just restocked it this week. We run a little low on the steak sauce. Not sure if we're gonna make it again, to be honest. Uh, we got pineapple water kefir, grape water kefir, and a small amount of plain. Uh, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be coming out with labels for this. Uh, hopefully, we'll have them next week. So we'll have new product labels on the water kefir, separating the flavors, talking a little bit more about it. And uh, we have a limited amount of water kefir grains available. So I'll talk about it a little now. Uh, the reason I wasn't feeling so good sometimes on water kefir was because molasses actually has copper and iron in it. Although it's not a crazy amount, like I was drinking so much water kefir every day that the amount of copper in it was negatively impacting my health. So I did find a way to make the water kefir without the molasses, which is what we're doing now. So it's, it's this special mineral blend that I might sell in the future. So if you guys want to make your own water kefir without molasses, uh, I will. we might have that in a little while, but right now I just don't have access to everything to sell the, the mineral blend in a large capacity, but uh, we will have uh, that water. Now it does, it does taste a little better with the molasses in it, but when just because it's so plain without the molasses, so when we add the fruit juices and other flavors to it, it's, it's a lot more enjoyable. So the plain water kefir on its own, we're probably not gonna sell. We'll have all the different flavors like lemon, orange, pineapple, apple. We're gonna do blueberry, cranberry, cherry. We're gonna have a lot of different flavors of water kefir available made with the plain mineral blend, which is gonna be really delicious and special. And I'm gonna try to keep the price low around eight or 8.50 a bottle. Uh, but guys, keep in mind, you know, just just the water costs three dollars for that so we got in some more of the uh that torta del casar uh i was talking about this last week how it's my favorite cheese this is this is a wheel of soft sheep cheese very funky you like cut the top off and you can dip bread in it definitely definitely very special definitely my favorite cheese um but we got we got more of it in so you know we only had a few but now we have we have enough we should be good to go on that just restocked uh, new Gouda cheese, but all the cheeses are in stock. You know, we, we got, I think, 15, 16, almost 20 different cheeses available right now from the local Amish cheeses to uh, the regular European imported cheeses. All of the fresh meat came in this week, so if you guys order uh, fresh ground beef on the beef share section, it'll come fresh. It's a little more expensive. It's 8.50 a pound instead of eight. If you guys order bone and ribeye or bone and porterhouse steaks, we do have some fresh, but uh, the, so they'll probably go out fresh if you guys order the fresh shipping. I stopped selling these separately because people aren't really interested in buying them, so um, basically just eating them for lunch right now. But we do have a lot of ground beef, and uh, I reduced the price on the blood. I guess you you guys can only buy so much blood, so uh, it was eight dollars. I think we're selling it for six fifty a jar now which is kind of crazy because just the jar itself is like over a dollar with the lid on. Yeah, ton, ton of fresh blood available. All the eggs are restocked. I, I think we ran out of uh, duck and quail eggs, but we do have some chicken eggs available now. And we did make a fresh batch of Vichy Swat. So both the, the beef barley soup and the Vichy Swat turned out very good. They're delicious. Uh, the Vichy Swat is just really, really plain, healthy, high quality organic ingredients. It's beef, collagen broth that's made with mineral water, potatoes, and leeks. A little salt, that's it. Just three ingredients, plain, 
minimally inflammatory, just really good source of nutrition, lunch soup. Uh, that can be served cold or warm. That's species swaz usually actually served cold. So I, I like that. It's a very plain, high quality nutrition source that's clean. It's in glass. We put a lot of you know quality into it. You know you're comfortable eating that soup. I'm really happy about that. It's not, you know, it's not, I mean, it's delicious. I had like two bowls of it yesterday on its own. I'm just glad we're able to offer that quality of stuff. And it's $12, which is the same price you're paying for these other crappy soups anyway. Before we go in the freezer, got a little different configuration here all nice and organized we're out of chicken I think we only have like some ground chicken and chicken organs left but uh, we should be getting some chicken in this week a lot of porterhouse steaks reduced price on those we got a decent amount of uh, collagen broth I think we're gonna give this away next week some collagen broth uh, but this week we did give away the liverwurst again. So every order you guys ordered this week, you're gonna get one liverwurst for free. Uh, all the orders that were placed over the weekend, the end of last week, and like Monday through Wednesday of this week, you're gonna get free liverwurst. We got all different sizes of whole bacanya back in stock. The ribeyes look good. Nice. You know, I asked my guys if we had any prime ribeyes, and I guess I gotta go through these myself because I mean, that's not exactly prime, but I'm sure some of these are. So you guys might get lucky. Yeah, I don't really think uh, there's anything too new. Probably just a few random restocks here and there. Like we have the ground venison back available. All right, I really don't remember what's restocked this week, so I'm gonna check my email real quick. Yeah, I showed you guys the picanha we restocked. We got some lamb liver back in. We restocked the organ grind and uh, we also got smaller strip steaks. So if you guys want 10 ounce New York strip steaks, those are available under the individual strip steak section, but um, nothing nothing too crazy. Yeah, so still dealing with a lot of like charge back and nonsense. Like someone someone sent back a, a Wi-Fi shielding canopy without even asking. And we explicitly say on that website that there's no refunds allowed for this stuff because a few years ago and you could probably one you guys could probably find it in the vlog in the bronx i showed you guys someone sent back a canopy it looked like they picked up like a 55 year old guido crossdresser from the jersey shore had a tantrum in a motel room wrapped in the wi-fi canopy and then sent it back to me because it looked like someone sprayed self tanner all over it it was oxidized by UVB. It was, I don't know how the hell they made the canopy look like that within the short span of time they had it. But the point is, then they sent it back for a refund. Like, I, I don't know if these people just try to take advantage of me. And I've said it before, I might not be able to sell these canopies anymore because for some, I don't, and I don't know if it's targeted harassment because for some reason these people, people are buying these expensive canopies, four, five, six hundred dollars, and then saying they don't want them. Like, no, the, not happening, guys. And if you and if you return that and file a charge back, I'm gonna come to your house, okay? Like, don't pull that. Like, I, I'm losing my mind. I'm, I still haven't filed that lawsuit yet because it's just nonsense ongoing. But it's gonna happen probably by June or July of this year. Um, oh, this was kind of funny. People call like the the bad customers Karens, but this girl's name was literally Karen. And within like a two day span of time from like Sunday morning to Monday night, she sent me four emails asking me for the tracking number for her order. I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's a little, that's a little funny. That's a little ironic. Uh, but uh, I guess uh, we'll read the, the scam emails first and I'll talk about the new return policy for first time customers. So, I mean, this doesn't really apply to most of you guys because... I mean, if I say you guys have ordered from you before and you're a good customer and you have an issue with the order, it's just you guys just get a, a full refund, no questions asked. I don't really worry about it, but um, there, there's patterns that happen with, and it's always with first time customers that they try to take advantage of me. So this lady emails me claiming that her order was on the porch all day and that everything was thought out, but she sent pictures and all the product was fine. She only ordered dairy. First of all, so the product wasn't going to be frozen and it arrived in a two day period of time to Florida. So logistically, with the amount of ice we put in there, even if it was on the porch, it would have been good for another day on the porch. It would have stayed completely cold. And she purposely didn't take photos of the inside of the box. And, and this happened with 
two customers did the exact same thing to me. They both first time customers ordered around a hundred dollars worth of dairy, took the dairy products out of the um, the package, and then took photos of them claiming that the products were not good when clearly they were. So the first person just took photos of them outside the box and said they're no good, but there's no way for me to tell the temperature. And based on the arrival time of the order, two days is perfectly fine. And then some other kid emailed me, first time customer again, that his ice cream was melted and he sent pictures of frozen ice cream. And I'm going back arguing with him like, dude, the ice cream is frozen. What do you like? So th these people just pull this ridiculous stuff and, and I'm sure they're going to file chargebacks. So because of that, and I put this in the in the FAQ policy, the first time customer return policy, if you have any concern about your order whatsoever, you're required to videotape yourself opening the order. That's it. There's you have to open the order because we have to see what's in it, how much ice is left, the condition of the order. Because these people are these people will leave the meat out on the counter overnight and take a picture of it the next day and tell me the meat was thrown out. These people will do whatever they can to try to scam and rip me off and file chargebacks. So the new return policy for and this is for first time customers only. If you receive an order and you have any, you're skeptical at all, you don't trust me. First of all, don't order in the first place. Go buy crappy meat from someone else. But you, if you want to get a refund, it is required that you videotape yourself. Oh, physically, oh, it has gone to this point. I am so disgusted. You will have to videotape yourself physically opening the package and taking out the entire contents of the package. That's the only way you will be eligible for any sort of refund whatsoever because the lengths that these people are going to rip me off is absolutely disgusting and despicable. And based on the factual evidence, if I send a box with 15 pounds of dry ice in it, it will stay frozen in that cooler for three or four days. So regardless of what pictures you take, regardless of what you're telling me, you're, these people are lying. Anyway. That's the scam nonsense I had to deal with. So probably fifteen hundred dollars between th these jer jerk offs sending the canopy back, people filing random chargebacks, just just nonsense. I'm s sick of dealing with this. And I I'm going to start being more explicit, and I'm going to start saying this stuff at the beginning of the video. So when you go to Costco, when you go to your local supermarket, when you buy meat or products from basically anyone else, you're supporting you're you're supporting the people that are conspiring to harass my business and it's direct oh yeah you're, you're not you're you know you're not exactly uh you know you're not supporting they're all they're all in the club right all these people are in the club they want you to buy from their businesses they don't want you to buy from mine so when you buy meat from someone else you're directly supporting these people that are scamming me that's that's as simple as cut and dry as it is to explain that in depth is a little more complicated but that's just how it is. There, there's no, there's no explanation for new customers trying to steal money from me every single week. You know, there's no other explanation for it. They're trying to damage my business and prevent me from growing because they want the money for themselves. But I hate to break it to you, you guys are selling crapola products at crapola prices. If I'm the best option, it, it's crazy. Instead of, it, instead of, instead of do running legitimate businesses and offering quality products and doing the right thing these people just these people rather slit your throat and keep selling their crap so we're gonna read some reviews now five star review for the 8282 raw butter delicious this is the most delicious butter I have ever had another review for the butter good butter tastes high quality I would love some salted butter though Frank yeah I'm, I'm you know the, the raw tards have had an unusual pull so I think well uh, I think that's I think we'll start doing some salted butter too. I just want to make sure that they don't add too much salt because the Amish tend to be heavy handed with the salt. I got a review for the Frankie's liquid gold steak sauce. Wonderful, extremely rich, pungent, absolutely beautiful addition to any dish. I can say that I am thoroughly impressed by Frank's genius. Then we got a review for the beef share. So this guy ordered a quarter beef share. Um, these were the ones you guys saw ship out. We do shorts on them all the time. I show you guys the beef shares every week we do them. Quarter beef is unreal. First off, I genuinely feel like I stole for what he charged me. Secondly, the beef came all labeled with an insane variety of cuts plus roasts and organs. I took a chunk off the beef raw when it came in and the flavor profile was out of this world. Can't wait to try the steaks and roasts. From how it was packaged to the quality variety of beef, I'm truly impressed. 
You've always given the highest quality everything, and this is definitely no exception. I'm extremely pleased with my purchase, and I can't thank you enough for this, Frankie. Yeah, the, the, the special thing that we do with the beef is we don't charge by hanging weight. We charge per pound of meat. So mo most, eh, not most, every other farmer is going to kind of, you don't know. You're buying meat from a stranger, and they're, they're, they're charging you hanging weight, which is charging you based on a, num a weight of the cow which you're not there to see, which to me is disingenuous. So what we do is we weigh out how much meat the cow yielded and we charge you for that. Even if we get screwed a little bit, um, you know you're paying per pound of meat. You're not paying for hanging weight or live weight or any of that nonsense. And we don't, we don't, um, it's not aged. You know, most, they hang the carcass usually for two or three weeks. You're waiting a month or two for your beef. That's not what we do. We kill it fresh, ship it out immediately. Fresh or frozen, depending on where you want. Uh, five star beef with a grass fed ribeye steak. Best grass fed, grass finished ribeye ever. This is the best grass fed, grass finished ribeye ever. Combined with the new Frankie steak sauce, we have a home run. The price and quality can't be beat. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, five star beef for the pasture raised egg whites. Best egg whites. Read this on the video. Best egg whites you can buy. Frankie's the man. Yeah, we're, we're selling those at basically a loss right now because no one really wanted them. Uh, but I think we're almost out. Because they, I'm sure, getting a lot of extra egg whites from making the ice cream. We got a five star view for the best bar. Two year old loves the best bar. Thanks, Frank, for making a bar that has clean ingredients that my toddler will take. He loves these bars and asks for them each day. A great snack option on the go instead of goldfish and sugar bars. Every time we're around others at playdates, they all want a best bar. Thank you. Yeah, the it's like a really smooth cake like texture, and the kids tend to like uh, like the t texturally is is very important for them. Five star view for the grass fed Wagyu burger patties. Delicious. I normally don't like burgers, but this is really good. Yeah, uh, we might be out of those soon. Having a hard time getting Wagyu. Five star view for the pemmican. A wilderness surprise. I bought a box of these for a trip in Ontario's north by canoe. As a 62 year old, I was amazed by the amount of energy I got from even half a bar. I disliked the taste at first, but now I love it. Better by far than any trail food I've ever had, and I've been on I've been a wilderness camper for fifty years for doing some uh what's that book? The Fat of the Land by Yammer Stephenson, where they were eating pemmican. Doing some real wilderness exploring if you're doing that. Got a five star view for the eggs. I can't live without these. Seriously the best eggs I've ever had. Uh we did get the old the styrofoam packaging back in now, guys. Five star view for the grass fed beef and bone broth. Delicious. The beef stew was tender, gelatinous, and flavorful. It pairs great with white rice and on its own. Another view for the steak sauce. Goes on everything. Steak, yup. Turkey, yup. Cheese, somehow, yup. Crackers, yup. Potatoes, yup. Even loved having it on an RB sandwich for fun one time. Shame on me. Probably going to do something with pork and pasta with it later. Seriously, this recipe is overpowered, yeah. Put a lot of work into that steak sauce. Yeah, so if you guys want to help me out, just, you know, go, go on Google, leave a review, and um, and then just send me an email, like, showing you left the review, and I can give you guys, like, $10 off your order or something, because, uh, like, when these people harass me, they leave, like, negative reviews, and I can't get the reviews taken down. Um, usually, usually when these big, usually when these other companies have it, like, get fake Google reviews, they just contact Google, and Google uh, takes it down for them, but Google doesn't like me either, so... Um, we're just dealing with this negative harassment. Maybe when I finally file the lawsuits, I'll get those bad reviews taken down. But for now, um, you know, they, they'll do anything to, to, to reduce the amount of customers I get and all that stuff. But yeah, on one hand, I don't really like talking about and bringing up the negative stuff. But on the other hand, I, I think it's perfectly fair that, you know, and I'm, I'm, I doubt I'm, I'm even really getting that many first time genuine customers but but it's it's not it's not crazy like if, if you guys order from me and you just like to me it's I don't see why there people would have any problem with just putting their camera up or their phone up and and recording them opening the box because there, there's no there's no 99.9% .9 of the time it arrives fine and if there is something genuinely wrong then you can just send us the video and get a refund so it's just it's just a little hassle, but it's it's more of a first time customer thing because after after people, and and it's it's always the, the first time customers trying to scam me that say oh the whole order is bad, but uh, we, we honestly haven't we haven't really had any legitimate issues with any orders outside of uh, packages getting stolen, which is a, a whole other issue I have to deal with because 
And I don't know because, you know, FedEx marks the package as delivered. They take a picture of it on the doorstep, and then the customer's emailing me saying, "Oh, I never got the package." I was like, "What am I supposed to do?" You know, it's that 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 rarely happens too. Maybe maybe one or two a month. But that 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 is probably that happens. Whereas the package actually going bad or the meat thawing out or that stuff it has hasn't been happening especially because it's been over the winter and we put so much ice in it that that's that's been a non-issue for for any packages in general so for these people to try to scam me and say that's happening after after two days is just unrealistic yeah i was sticking through i mean for some reason the the shipping cost on the the egg uh the egg like shipping material doubled which is not good i don't know what i'm going to do on that uh, prices keep going up on stuff that doesn't make any sense might have to just go back to packaging it ourselves uh, just these disgusting companies just price gouge look a lot of look it, it's getting worse and worse I think a lot of more people are gonna keep going out of business and it's gonna get to the point where the these corporate people are getting too greedy I don't understand they don't, uh, I don't understand what if they're I mean if they're trying it makes sense if they're trying to do an intentional collapse but if they genuinely think they can keep raising prices and stay in business, they're completely delusional. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully we have uh, a, few, a few new things to show you guys next week. Um, should have some new products in. Yeah, I'm excited for the, I'm excited for the the labels for the water kefir coming in. We should have a few new flavors in by the vlog next week, and. Uh, Hopefully that goes pretty good. Yeah, if you guys go to frank you guys can see all of my, uh, all the businesses, all the interesting and, and creative health ideas. And hopefully you guys continue to support me. Yeah, there was that I, I had a really cool idea I wanted to launch by now, but um, the, the issue is with, you know, with how many of my products have been copied and me being censored and shadow banned. If I launch this, chances are what would happen is, um, big company would just steal it and I'd be screwed out of luck that's that's how the, this capitalist nonsense works so who knows if I'll ever be able to launch that but I need a big enough platform to do it so that uh, I get the market share and then can have legal legal help when someone tries to copy the idea all right yeah let me go home and eat something because I'm fucking over it